Wuhan city has transformed public places such as sports centers, schools, and exhibition halls into temporary hospitals to make sure all patients infected with COVID-19 can be treated. However, there have been many speculations about the living conditions inside these hospitals. So I decided to take a look myself. As a non-patient, the first and most important step before entering the hospital is to wear protective gear. It includes isolation gown, cap, suit, goggles, shoe covers, two masks, and two layers of gloves. We also write down our names on our suits so we can identify each other, as everybody looks the same with the suit on. Additionally, we need to cover all our equipment with thick layers of plastic wraps to prevent it from being contaminated. Temporary hospitals only treat patients with mild symptoms. Well, to be honest, I'm a bit shocked to see some of the patients here. They are exercising and singing. Some of them sounded so jovial when I talked to them that it got me wondering, are you guys really patients? This guy has been recording and uploading funny videos on Douyin, China's TikTok, since the day he came to this hospital. Those videos have gone viral. Dancing, organizing funny skits, he sometimes even drag medics into the performance. When I asked him the reason behind his funny acts, he said, And then I find out that his wife had ovarian cancer and was in the intensive care unit of another hospital. She was infected with COVID-19 as well. He actually wanted to make her laugh and feel less lonely. The halls of the hospital reverberated with laughter, but the tears flow as well. Zhou Guohong, the hospital's chief nurse, does more than just medical treatment. This patient lost his father at the hands of COVID-19. He couldn't even say goodbye. This little boy lost his father and uncle, and his mother is seriously ill in another hospital. Their symptoms of COVID-19 might be mild, but the mental trauma of losing their loved ones is severe. When it comes to complete recovery, Counseling is just as crucial as physical treatment. Till we find a cure, the best that one can strive for is a healthy body with a strong immune system. So medics like her are motivating patients, helping them recover both physically and mentally. I saw lots of patients showing immense fortitude in fighting this disease. The other day, I ran into this patient inside the hospital. A few days later, when I went back, I saw him getting discharged from this hospital. Hope is always there.